Hello, hello, hello. In this video, I will show you how you can build a base cabinet, a standard base cabinet, 36 inch high and with two doors. So, the first thing I will go to new element and it's uh, three quarters of an inch thick. I will place it right there and I want to make sure it's on the floor and it's on position zero 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 that means zero inches from the left wall zero at the bottom zero at the back you can also see the same information right here on your lower right click OK and uh, standard cabinets are usually 36 inches high so I'm gonna start with 34.5 because I'm leaving that one and a half inch for the countertop so 34.5 apply just, you just change and I also want it to be uh, 24 inches deep so because the countertop I'm gonna make a 25 inches deep is one inch difference okay there you go then I'll quickly let me just zoom in real quick I'll quick go to my shape editor click on sideline to select both notch on two ends and I want this notch here to be four inches from the ground you will see why so change the direction four inches apply and this one here I want to move it four inches Let me zoom in so you can see it does four inches as well change direction enter and there's two ways you can create this notch depending on how you make your cabinets uh, this is a custom design software so you're gonna use it the way you make them uh, I can easily do this to get that 90 degrees notch 4 by 4 90 control Z to go back to where I was or I can make this angle it's now 180 I can make it 90 so it's right there so I want that to be 90 enter boom so I made my first notch and we going to close that and we can see what we have so far I will quickly name that that's the left panel okay then I will make a copy and call this one right panel okay now I need to make uh, the back so I'm gonna put this set it aside for a minute new element same thickness and just make sure it's aligned to the top I want to align this to the top so I select that and control shift select this one align the tops there you go and then I'm gonna stretch this down to the ground then I'm gonna bring this one just against that as you can see you got nice corners right there and then um, I want to make my stretches, my nailers and stretches. Uh, usually these are three inches deep, so new elements. And I will make that three inches deep. And maybe lock it so that it doesn't resize. So I can. Uh, only resize the width so 
bring it in and you can see there my nailers make sure it's all the way there into the corner stretch it all the way uh, if you notice Pro 100 has collision detect so when you bump into something it will stop I want to align this with the tops, control shift and select any of these, align the tops, you can see it just moved to the top, right there, and I want to make another one, another stretcher, so I'm going to copy this one, and align it with the front, so align this with the front, uh, align the front is this one, there you go. I want to keep naming my parts as I continue. So this was the back. Go to general. Back. This uh, stretchers. Sorry. These are uh, stretches. And I need to make some nailers since they're going to be the same width I'll just make a copy of one of these excuse me control Z to re make a copy first and then drag and I'm going to rotate to the X axis one two as you can see it's right there and I'm going to move it to the back and move it up. That's my nailer. Alright, and I'll make one bottom. So just make a copy. And I'll just leave it there for now. That's because I need to make the bottom of the cabinet. So maybe set it right there okay so n another new elements right here place it on the floor it's too large so I'm gonna resize it remember Pro 100 has collision detect when you run into something it will turn red so I need to resize this and then move it back like that stretch it now I know this this back panel is three quarters thick All right. so I just want to do the math so that I can align it s somewhere there I can eyeball it Pro 100 has a way to know that it's aligned let me zoom that real quick there you go it will kind of snap and you know it's aligned right there so it's at the top and I'm going to move this up because I need to make the toe kick right another new element and before I do that toe kick is normally four inches high so go to dimensions lock it and the thickness and I'm gonna bring my toe kick in same technique remember I cannot just hide because I've locked it and going to align that as well you can turn on the transparency that way you can see the inside like you can see through if you know what I mean there you go so now you can actually tell that this toe kick is going to align just move this real quick it will 
kind of snap like that. Just a little bit off. Let me bring my colors. Okay. And as you can see, it's not all the way, so I'm going to stretch it like that. And I'll bring the bottom down. Now, I need to continue naming my parts. Very important if you are a cabinet maker. So I will name that bo bottom general. And I want this uh, the toe kick. Okay, let's see what we have so far. Make the shading really nice so we can see what's going on. There you go. Now remember, I still have, excuse me, yep, this is what I was looking for, I still have this stretcher right here, so you want to put it wherever you want to put it, if you want to put it at the bottom so that it's covering everything, that's on you, alright, now, what we have here is a base cabinet but there's one thing we have not done we need to group everything because right now if I try to remove this it's just gonna be falling apart so control Z so I'm gonna go to structure you can get the structure from tools right here or you can just drag it to your right right hand menu here's the structure so I'm going to select everything here, control A, and I will group them. And I need to give it a name. I'm just going to call it box. It's a box. Now, remember, the thickness of the sides are locked, so I can pretty much make this cabinet to any size I want. So if now I can make it to become a 36 inch wide it will be 36 inch wide as you can see okay so let's make it look nice I want to make a countertop actually before that uh, yeah I can go ahead and make a countertop new element on the floor it's 36 wide, so I want the 36, and I want it to be 25 deep. The thickness of countertop, since we have 34 and a half, we want it to be 36, so it's going to be 1.5 inches, and you want to lock it, and lock that one, and lock that one, because I'm never going to res. Well, I might resize it, so my bad. So I leave that alone. Bring that on top. Position zero zero, of course. You always want to work on that position zero zero. That's my countertop, and I will name it countertop. And I will make it part of the box. So it's one thing. Now I need to make the doors. I'm going to make a two door because it's uh, 36 wide so that's I can make one door and the secret here is I know this thing is 36 wide so I want to make I want to make sure there's half inch allowance on both sides and uh, I know it's going to be 20 inch the door is going to run from right here to here I'm gonna leave that half inch from uh, from
from the countertop so I need to make 30 high doors okay so I'll make the first door sorry close that so I'm gonna go to new elements I want the first door to be uh, 36 high and the thickness you can put the thickness you want for your doors I don't know where you get your doors uh, the width because I want total to be 35 half half on both sides allowance so I will make that 17.5 now it's all against the wall if you look at the position it's zero from the back it's on the bottom and it's 42 and a half inches from the left wall so I simply don't need to do this again I can make a copy and make two doors so make this name it left door and this is right door and I want to group these doors and call them doors because they're two alright now before I group it to the box I need to set them up so I'm just gonna bring them in like that and somebody asked me how do you align them so that it's exactly well I need to fix the height so the height is gonna be 30 I believe and then I'm gonna line I'm gonna make sure it's four inches from the bottom so go to position make sure it's four inches and that will align it and then move it to the back by using this move to the back it will bump it to that and then now I want to align it before I do that let me turn the colors on so you can see my pretty door there you go I left the contours on so you can see what I'm doing and the way I do it I'm gonna select my doors control shift select the countertop or you can select the tool kick to align it and you use this guy there you go it's exactly at the center it's half inch both side allowance and a little bit of allowance there and now I can decide that the door can now be part of the box I'm sorry before I do that let me just group I want to group them like this so that I can call the whole thing 36 inch and 6 uh, bays cabinet well normally people call it B36 you know it's a base cabinet and it's 36 inches wide now let's make it pretty alright so I'm gonna give it some colors you can get your catalog from whatever I'll make a different video for that so I'm gonna catalog textures and I wanna use my ready-made catalog from kitchen door depot actually I have a better one which I like it's called GSW I want to use the New York glaze look pretty so let's color everything first and then give the doors a nice look now there's something wrong here I forgot about the drawer I can still do that but I will show you that in the next video uh, I need to do something about the countertop so I'm gonna go to my ready-made textures and go to countertops I like granite 
and I can uh, choose whichever I like and I'm gonna remove those contours and make my door my cabinet really pretty I can make maple too now before I do that I need my countertop to I'm in mean my tokik to look like a tokik so I'll just go to colors and maybe give it a dark whatever so it looks like nice countertop and before I finish let's change the texture to something else just so you get to understand how you can give it different textures based on the materials that you are using I want to give it maple maple wood watch the grains sometimes the grains go across horizontal or vertical whichever you like I don't care how you make your cabinets this program will help you do so so let's go to raise panel nice raise panel there you go so now I do have my cabinet and let's look at the tr structure tools so can go to tools structure or I can just get it right here if you collapse that you can see that everything is made the way you want it uh, if you click on the box it's just the box now I don't want the box to be part of I don't want the countertop to be part of the box so I'm gonna remove it and move the countertop and just set it right there so when I select the box it's just the box the doors left and right cabinets the entire thing uh, we can generate a cut list right now and the way you do it is to double click the whole thing general select the name the way it is you can name it whatever you want go to advanced square brackets square bracket paste the name then close it with another square bracket now if I go to file export cut list this is my cut list and it's showing all the materials showing here this is my base cabinet okay, on the top and all the nice stuff you can write to customer name designer any comments blah 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 I can also give you some price so let's go to general and let's browse I'm gonna create maybe call it a B36 maybe give it a $450 and 50 cents select apply and now if I want to see my reports calculation this cabinet is $450 it is one piece on the floor I can now add this cabinet to my catalog and I don't have to make it again I can also make copies make more copies and if I want to know the price it will tell me it will report there are three pieces on the floor and they cost a thousand three hundred fifty one fifty cents maybe I want to give you a discount because you're a nice customer you're watching my video I'll give you ten percent so now you got one thousand two hundred sixteen thirty five cents that you need to pay me I can make a some remarks for my reference good customer whatever it is and uh, I think this is basically what you need to know how to use Pro 100 to build your own cabinets the same technique you can apply it on 
corner bays, closets, any custom design. Now remember, here's a nice thing, one more thing I want to show you. Let's say you have a big job, you don't need to go in and change material, like let's say you want to change the door style, you don't have to go one by one. So I'm going to go to catalogs, change a different material. Uh, let me go to a totally different door styles. Let me go back to GSW. Uh, I want to go to antique. So I can change it at once, hold my shift, and drop it on the body, on the box. All of them chained. And if I had um, drawers, the same thing will happen. So, But this time I only have cabinet doors all of them changed and I can also change the countertops as well go to countertops uh, I like granite and well, let's give it a weird weird color or a nice one it doesn't matter I'm gonna give it some green 0097 hold your shift boom so my cabinets are ready and uh, I will show the next video on how you can put in your sink, your handles and all the nice stuff. Thank you for watching. Call pro100usa.com.